Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I'm Kane. I believe Oaken's still on the front porch uh, smoking a cigar. So I wanted to come back to you today with a quick video. Um, actually, probably a reassembly video. I started taking apart my RAT um, Model 1. And I got it apart. I saw Nick Shabazz's video. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, which I am absolutely sure you have, please check him out. He um, does amazing disassembly videos of pretty much every knife he reviews. But um, he did have a couple of remarks here that I just wanted to reiterate for anyone that does have a Rat Model 1. And in case you haven't seen that video from him a couple years ago. The Rat Model 1, especially on the lock bar side, has a D-shape um, to the pivot as well as to the body screws so it's sort of from the top it's hard to see um, but it's sort of flatter on the top than the rest of the sides and you can see here on the body standoff that that is also flatter on top so when you're when you're putting it back together you just want to make sure that that's lined up both for that as well as for the pivot so that it'll go back together um, nice and smoothly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. In the last video, I forgot to, uh, when I was talking about my cleaning supplies, maintenance supplies, I did not mention the actual mat that I use, which is the BTS Show mat. This is a Silicon Pro um, soldering or soldering mat that you can find on Amazon. I'll put the link below. It's about $13 and it really helps. Uh, with nice knife disassembly, guns, any l little tedious tasks, you can put your um, and organize your screws and the different parts in different places. It's a non-slip surface, so it works really well um, for this type of um, usage. Also, another thing, I guess, real quick, uh, the Weha bit selector. Um, on the last video, I didn't go in depth about it, but it does come with this magnetic one-fourth bit holder. I believe, I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but I believe you can use it like this as well. Um, but on the end, you can set it in there and use this as your um, bit holder um, to screw in something, which is sort of nifty if you don't actually have something else on hand um, to use. So, back to the reassembly. The interesting thing about the Rat Model 1 is it comes with two washers. One is a phosphor bronze, and then one is a very thin Teflon washer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. I use the KPL Normal Lube um, for the pivot. Just put a little bit, goes a long way. A little bit here as well. Go ahead and slip that on. Give it a nice roll or two. All right, put that on. For the blade um, and the detent ball, I like to use the KPL Heavy. It's nice because it will stay in place, doesn't wash away easily, and is a little bit thicker than the normal KPL. So I just put it along the detent track and where the detent ball goes. That's a little bit probably too much. So let's try to wipe some of that off usually happens okay so let's put this back on so far so good all right here's all right a little bit more for the washer on this side again I usually use a little bit too much There we go. Like and Nick mentioned in his video, you want to make sure that this is not off center one way or the other, because if it is, the centering won't be off on the knife. So you want to try to line it up as good as possible, sort of like that, um, for when you're reassembling it. It'll help with, well, or mess it up. It'll help with the centering of the, um, once you completely get it back together. All right, so I just try to go ahead and put this back on. Snapped in nicely. As you can see from here, there's a good bit of 
oil or lube or something from the factory on the scale. Wipe that off, put that back on. Looks good, okay. So I'm gonna start by replacing this back pivot. It came with a little bit of Loctite, as you can see there from the factory. Normally I would re-Loctite it, but I ran out. So I have it on order. Should be here soon, but it's not here yet. So this will have to do for now. So put this body screw back in. Well, do the other side of the pivot first. These are fairly straightforward um, to disassemble and put back together, which is a good thing because I'm by no means an expert. I don't try to take apart every knife just for fun, but when I've had it a while and need to use it for cleaning, I like to disassemble it. I just think it keeps them in tip-top shape, especially if you're going to rely on it and use it every day. Um, might as well have it in the best shape possible. So it's less likely to fail you, even if it does. Okay. All right. Pretty close to center. I'd say once we put these body screws on, that'll help. This is when I need some nice elevator music to play while we're watching this. Hopefully you can at least fast forward or speed up through this portion of the video. Where you're watching me, just screw in the screws. How inappropriate. Okay. Also, it seems some things are hard to find recently because of COVID-19, uh, like the isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol um, to help clean the knives. One um, viewer mentioned that they've used some baby wipes, which helps clean off stuff and um, when they weren't able to get some type of alcohol, and it seemed to work very well for them. I believe that was lavender pants. Shout out to them. And we're almost done here. We'll make sure to tighten everything up once everything's together. But fairly straightforward process. Also have to reinstall the perfectly centered right now. Awesome. Very happy with that. It was off center before favoring the lock bar side. Um, so I'm pretty happy. And there it goes off center again. I want to make sure there's no blade play. It doesn't seem to be. So I think that's good and centered. Uh, but thanks for stopping by. Just wanted to do a quick video to reiterate some of the things from Nick Shabazz's um, disassembly video a few years ago, just in case you missed it. Um, but I appreciate you stopping by the living room. And I guess the last thing before we go, I'll use this Aegis EDCI formula. The problem with this currently is I believe they stopped or making it or um, I guess ran out during the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic. So hopefully they'll get back up and running soon to get the products out because it seems to be very popular and does help a lot with corrosion resistance. All you do is spray it on, rub it in, and wipe it off. I usually wipe it off with just another microfiber towel, and it seems to really help so far, um, especially in the southeast where we have a ton of humidity and um, very easy to rust your blades. So there we go there. It's just a quick, um, I guess, reassembly of the RAT Model 1. Hope you have a nice day, and please like, subscribe, and post any comments or questions you have down below. I appreciate you coming to the living room today. Have a good one.